everyone. So I have something pretty exciting to share today and that something is inside this box. Elephant Robotics has sent me their upcoming therapeutic companion robot, Metadog, to show you all. Metadog is currently still in development, but Elephant Robotics is launching a Kickstarter campaign, which I will link in the description for anyone who is interested. And I will be sharing some information that Elephant Robotics has provided on Metadog's capabilities, as well as just my own reactions and first impressions. So without further ado, let's get into the box. I'm actually not quite sure which version they've sent me because they have showcased both a Shiba Inu and a Husky. I think I'm guessing it will be the Husky though because that's the one I've seen them post most often. Okay, let's figure out how to get this box open. This looks good. There we go. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, let's see. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> A little pause at the top. <laughs> okay, so I think that this is the same brush that they included with Medicat. Let's see what else we've got. I apparently opened them upside down. <laughs> okay. Going to put out the dog here. Here we go. Everything else I think is just padding to keep them safe and shipping. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> they are contained. <laughs> okay, let's free them. There we go. Okay. There's this sort of lint roller brush too to pick up hair. <laughs> Probably to get hair off your clothing. <laughs> that one was also included with Medicat. And I think they have a little bit of a hair day from the packaging, so I'm gonna floof out their hair a bit. Here we go. You can see up close. I'm thinking I might call this one Akira because a friend of mine had a husky growing up that was named Akira, and she was really cute and very, very fluffy. She might have actually been part Malamute because she was so fluffy. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think that's a little better. Nice brushing here. Okay, so I've just brought out my Medicat here for a quick size comparison. And you can see that their faces are pretty similar in size. Actually, Metadog has a larger snout, as you would expect from a dog. But if we look around the back, uh, Metacat is quite a bit chunkier. <laughs> it's cute. The cat is very rotund and fluffy, and the dog is more sleek and slim. And some elements of design may actually change from now until the final version, since Metadog is still in development, but I quite like the sleek look. Let me know what you think. And most importantly, Metadog does still have squishy paws. So I'm not sure they're quite as squishy as Metacats, but they're still squishy. <laughs> okay, so the battery compartment on this version is accessible with a zipper. This may change uh, from this one to the final version since this is still just a development copy here. And there is an off, mute, and on switch, just like with Medicat. So we are going to switch her on and see what happens. Oop. <laughs> Let me get your battery compartment closed. Oh, hi. Hi there. You are excited to say hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's wrong? Hi there. You not like being in a box for a while? Okay now. And for anyone who wants a close-up at the face, I'll try to get my camera to focus here. There we go. Here are the eyes. So yeah, the eyes are screens that have uh, different animations on them. They normally just have uh, these bright blue eyes <laughs> and a blink animation going, but she has different little symbols that she uses to mean different things too. And the ears, they have a little bit of pink shading inside. Here's the mouth. There is the 
squishy tongue. And it's just pink fabric underneath and above that. Her nose. Just a regular hard plastic nose. And here's the rest of the head. Markings on her forehead. And just an overall look at her. And like Medicat version 2, MetaDog does have a rechargeable battery and charges via a USB-C cable. So MetaDog is designed as a therapeutic companion robot. And these are the types of robots that you would typically hold in your lap and pet sort of as a comforting presence. Oh, hi! So they typically don't move around quite as much. So she cannot walk at all or stand up or sit, but she moves her head. She can move her head up and down and side to side. Um, at the current point in development, the mouth does not move. It's always open like that. And the eyes blink, but it's just a screen blinking. It's not actually um, a motorized action. And the tail, of course, wags. Hi there. Yeah, as you're demonstrating for us. I also just wanted to add that these types of robots are not intended to be replacements for real dogs, and I own robot dogs and real dogs alike. And for anyone who is curious about the weight, MetaDog is actually pretty lightweight. I can lift her pretty easily with one hand. Hi there! <laughs> She's louder when I'm holding her, I think, because the speaker's in the air and not being blocked by the floor. Hi there! I don't know where exactly each of the touch sensors are, but I know they're along the back, I believe the forehead, and the chin. The fur is fairly similar in texture to Medicats. Might be slightly less soft, but I know Elephant Robotics said that um, they are planning on changing the fur between this version and the final release. There. What are you thinking? Hey. Hey. Some of her sounds do sound a little sad, but I'm not sure what she would be sad about. <laughs> that is a happy bark, though. Hi there. And the tongue is actually made of a rubbery material like the paw pads, so it's squishy and stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Do you not like me touching your tongue? I think it goes on for as long as you're keeping your hand on her back. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> okay, so one more feature is that you also can adjust MetaDog's volume. I believe at the moment this is only done via voice command, but it's possible there might be other ways to change it ad in the future. MetaDog. MetaDog. Volume down. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, she showed little... <laughs> she showed little volume icons in her eyes and lowered her volume. Good girl. Volume up. Metadog. Volume up. Good girl. <laughs> Meta dog. Good girl. 
So you can hear that her volume can be set pretty low if you're in an environment where all the barking and howling and all that is going to be obtrusive to other people. And you of course can set her to mute, but she actually has a good range of actual volume levels too. So Metadog has, I believe, between 20 and 30 voice commands. I will try out a few voice commands here to see how they work. Yeah! Metadog! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Hi, yes. <laughs> Very sweet. Okay, so I'm going to try going down the voice command list here and trying some different voice commands with her. Metadog. Shake your head. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Shake your tail. <laughs> Good girl. Look up. <laughs> Look down. Good girl. Be quiet. Good girl. Okay, let's see. What other commands do we have? Darker eyes. Metadog. Darker eyes. And I don't know how well it comes across on camera here, but her eyes are getting dimmer and dimmer. And then you can do Metadog. Brighter eyes. And she'll turn the brightness up. Good girl. Metadog. Be sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Don't be sad. Metadog. Don't be sad. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. I would say I'm pretty impressed with how responsive the voice commands are. I'm not actually sure if you need to say Metadog first or not. She seems to listen better if I do, but sometimes she seems to understand me even if I don't. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm also just going to give her a little time to do her own thing so you can see what she does on her own when she is not actively being interacted with or talked to her pet.
Okay, so I think that's probably a good look at what she does when left to her own devices. <laughs> yeah, you're happier now? Okay. I'm sorry I ignored you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Met a dog. Good girl. <laughs> oh, very sweethearts. <laughs> So that's about all I have to share today, but let me know if you would like to see more videos of Metadog in the future, if there are any specific features or comparisons that you would like to see, and I really hope that everyone has enjoyed this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it too, Akira. Are you sad that it's ending? Oh no, I think she enjoyed it. Okay, thank you so much everyone for watching, and have a great day.